Let's talk about wiring one of the simplest circuits that you can make. That's going to be a switch that's going to operate a light. So on the screen, you see a simple illustration of what that's going to look like. Let's go through how this is going to work. We're going to send power to a switch. And as we turn that switch on, it's going to make a connection inside of the switch that's going to connect two terminals, which is going to send that energy out to the light fixture. So as you see here, as I turn it off again, it's going to break that connection. We turn it back on, it's doing nothing more than bridging those two terminals and sending power to that light. Here on the screen, you see a schematic of what this circuit would look like. So let's follow these conductors in, starting with our ground. So we have a ground wire that's coming in. You're also going to see a connection to the switch with a pigtail. This is a short piece of wire. If you need more information about your pigtail, check on that lesson that we offer, that mini lesson. The ground is also going to leave out of this box and go straight to our light fixture. Next up is our neutral. If you notice, there's a connection in the box with the neutral that then leaves the box. There is no physical connection of the neutral wire to our device, which is our switch at all. The only wires or conductors that are go going to connect to our switch are going to be our black wires, which are our hot wires. You're going to have a line that's going to come in. It's going to connect to one terminal on this switch, and then you'll have another black wire that connects to the other terminal that will leave out to go to the light fixture. So I've got a mock-up here. Let's go ahead and demonstrate that circuit here. So just like our schematic, I've laid this mock-up out to follow that whole thing. I've got my a wire coming in. This cable has all my conductors. This is where my power is coming from and we'll keep those separate for now. So that's my wire coming in. This is my wire going out and this wire goes up to my light fixture. And on my schematic, you're going to see these two wires connected with my pigtail. So I'm going to go ahead and twist these wires together. Here's my pigtail. I've already got it bent with a hook on the end and we're going to connect or twist these together and then connect them with a wire nut. So I've got my good wind on those. I'm going to put my wire nut on and we'll twist those tight. Now I have three wires and I have one down to one. This one will connect to my switch. And I can go ahead and connect my ground terminal, which is the green one, to my pigtail. And then I have my ground connection to my switch. That's the first step. Now we're going to move from, in our typical sequence, from our ground conductor to our neutrals. As you see in the schematic, the neutrals don't have any connection to our switch. This is for my hot wires. So we're just going to connect these two ground wires together. They pass directly through the box and go straight up to my light fixture. So these two wires get connected and they will be tightened up with a wire nut. Clip those off clean. Wire nut on the end. So phase two is complete for the switch. I have my ground with my pigtail, and then I have my neutral wires connected that bypass my switch. Now I have two hot wires, black wires left. I have two terminals on this switch. So each one of these black wires is going to get connected to my single pole switch, and it does not matter which terminal goes where. So we just need one connection for each wire. So I'm going to connect this wire here, make a nice tight turn on that screw, and then my other wire is going to connect to the other terminal. And I'm getting a strange twist on that. Let me get this corrected. What you don't want is any of that insulation under 
this terminal screw. And that's what a lot of, I keep talking about putting tension on these conductors. That's to keep it from winding around too fast or too much. So now we have a good tight connection on that and we're, we can give them a test to make sure they're tight. So now my switch, we have to talk about uh, the orientation of the switch and I need to make sure that I get this right. So here I have, I'm looking at on and then I'm looking at off. In the direction that this switch is positioned right now, it's upside down from the way you would expect to use it. What I want is to turn this around 180 degrees so that when I flip it up and it says on, that's making or bridging these two terminal connections. So this would be the normal position that a person using this switch would expect it to work. Down would be off, up would be on. So at this point, I can pack these wires in this box and then connect my device to the junction box. Let's go ahead and do that. One thing to mention while we're doing this is that there's a reason why the ground terminal is on the opposite side of these gold terminals. And that is because you don't want this bare wire coming in contact with these two terminals. It would cause a short, it would trip the breaker, and it would be a nuisance and possibly a fire hazard. So we're going to make sure when we pack this box, we keep this bare conductor on th this side of the junction box to keep it clear of these terminals. So I'm going to pack my and fold in my ground wire first making sure i'm not having any contact between those wires and those terminals i'll put my my neutral wire in as well push those in and now i can make sure these black wires go in i'm not trying not to stress out any of my connections that i'm making too much we have to fold those in, now I can make my connections here. So at this point, we're going to tighten up these screws that will pull this device in and make it secure. And then when that's tight, we'll be finished with this connection. We can then move on to the next part of this, which is installing the light fixture or the socket base to these wires. Installing this socket base is very simple. This is the most simple light fixture you can have. It literally only has two terminals on the back, or it only has a hot and a neutral terminal. As you notice, there is no ground terminal on this specific fixture. There's no need for one. The box is plastic and the housing of this is plastic. So there's really nothing to ground to. So our ground wire is going to get pushed in the back. It does not get connected to anything in this part of the circuit. The only ones we're going to connect are going to be our neutral and our hot. We're always going to start with our ground, then go to our neutral. So I'll put my neutral uh, wire on my neutral terminal. So there I have, I have two terminals here. I'm only using one. So I'm going to hook it on that terminal. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that up. Now I'm ready for my black wire on my gold terminal and it needs to come in from this direction. I don't know if you can see those ears on these tabs, but this wire wants to come in this way and this wire wants to come in from this side. I'm going to put a little tension on that and then I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up. So with those tight, I'll check them to make sure that one feels good and that one feels good. I can now pack these wires into the box and then I've got a kit. I don't have my screws here with me, but there'll be two screws that'll go through this socket to fasten it to our box. And now we have a finished circuit with a light switch that's going to operate this light fixture. During this course, if you do the included skills exercises, you're going to perform this exact circuit. You will also take this circuit and add a couple of outlets to it to make it more complex. And you'll also do some other more complicated circuits as well.